Amanda by Robin Klein Don't bite your nails Amanda Don't hunch your shoulders Amanda Stop that slouching and sit up straight Amanda The poem is about a rebellious child It is a distinctive poem The poet Robin Klein presents a conflicting relationship between mother and child the feelings of a parent or narrated in the form of a poem beautifully by the poet the mother parents her child to nurture some good habits personal hygiene and health care all the statements are all the stanzas are dedicated to the mother and her child in the consecutive stanzas stanza 1 depicts the parental care of the mother by instructing the child amanda not to bite nails or posing bad body language like hunching shoulders and awkward posture there is a languid emerald sea where the soul inhabitant is me a mermaid drifting blissfully stanza 2 represents amanda's reply to her mother by expressing deep emotion and desire to live in a serene atmosphere like languid emerald sea the slow moving sea where she wants to be a soul inhabitant like a mermaid without any disturbance did you finish your homework amanda did you tidy your room amanda i thought i told you to clean your shoes amanda stanza 3 presents a beautiful thing to amanda for maintaining personal hygiene her mother instructs her to tidy up her room and clean the shoes the everyday chore is reminded by her mother i am an orphan roaming the street i pattern soft dust with my hushed bare feet the silence is golden the freedom is sweet Amanda replies in the fourth stanza by saying that she does not want to do any work she wants to roam like an orphan in the street and she also wants to make her leg untidy and she further adds that she yearns for absolute silence according to her freedom is sweet Don't eat that chocolate Amanda remember you were agony Amanda will you please look at me when i'm speaking to you Amanda Amanda's mother advises her not to eat chocolates as it creates agony in her skin but she is not mindful about her advice Amanda's mother requests her to pay attention to her advice i am rabunzul i have not a care life in a tower is tranquil and rare i'll certainly never let down my bright hair through stanza 6 the poet reveals the imaginary world of amanda where she lives she clearly indicates that she doesn't want to be cared personally like Rapunzel's mother and she adds that she will not seek help from anyone by letting her have stop that sulking at once amanda you are always so moody amanda anyone would think that i nagged at you amanda the final stanza expresses the sad feelings of amanda's mother she is greatly concerned about amanda's lifestyle She also states that she is moody and not agreeing anything.
she further worries about her chidings advices and words were mistaken by others amanda's mother was trying to make a better relationship with her child by offering fruitful advices but her daughter's imaginary world silent protest bad posture deeply expresses her longingness for peace and untroubled world